We look at this. Is this growth or decay? This is going to be decay. Okay. <laughs> this <laughs> is growth. Okay, so this is growth. How can you tell, um, other than on a graph, what is the rule? If it's higher than one. If it's higher than one. In between 25. Okay, if it's bigger than one, it's going to be growth. If this one is between zero and one, it's going to be decay. Okay, so uh, on these graphs, before you even graph them, you should have a rough idea of which way the graph is going to go. So if we look at number one, is that growth or decay? No, growth. No. Okay, no, what's no, attached no. to the X? That's, that's what I thought you were talking about. What's attached to the X? Two. Two. So that's bigger than one. So it's going to be growth. So our graph we know is going to be like, okay, going up this way. And you need to have that in mind because you're only going to plot a couple of points. And so you need to know what the picture is going to look like. Otherwise, you're, here's what's going to happen. Some of you guys are going to go like this, and you're going to make these dots. And then you're going to be sorry, but you're going to be stupid, and you're going to connect dots like this. Does any of them graphs look like that? No. Okay, so you need to have a rough picture of in your brain of which one it's going to look like, okay? So what you're going to do in order to graph these, you're going to make what we call an XY chart. So you're going to say X and Y. Okay, so Erica already drew a picture. How he drew a picture on his, I don't know. I drew it. Yeah, he writes it. Okay, so uh, you're going to make an XY chart, and you're always going to do the same five numbers. Okay, it's going to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. We're always going to write those numbers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use those five numbers every single time to plot our graph, okay? All you need to do is type on your calculator, okay? You're gonna type in three and hit your times button, two, and then you're looking for the button that looks like this, X to the, and then there's a blank power button. X to the what, to the? And you're gonna do the first one, so it's gonna to be to the negative two. I got the zero power. Okay, so you should have got three fourths, which is what? We need it as a decimal. 0.75, okay? And if you don't know how to change it to a decimal on those calculators, uh, there's an SD button that's close to uh, the, the buttons, okay? And that will change it for you. Now, do not click erase. Click the over arrow and go to that negative two and you're gonna click delete and put the one instead. Okay, and what'd you get? 1.5. Okay, and then click that over arrow and delete that negative one and put the zero. <coughs> Okay, and what'd you get for the zero? Three. Okay, and then do the one and two. Okay, so 
this is not enough points, but it's enough. And then using our brain to know what the picture is going to look like. Okay. So we start plotting them. Okay. So we're going to go to the negative two spot. Okay. See how this is on the X line. You're going to go negative two and 0.75. So if this is one, 0.75 is going to be somewhere a little bit below it. Okay. And you guys, listen, the number one mistake people make is they just try to find my dot and find it on their, like count, count them. Okay. Uh, okay, and then we're going to go to negative 1, so 1 over, and 1.5. So it's going to be up just a little bit. 0 and 3. So this is our 0 line, and we're going to go up to 3. 1 and 6. So this is our 1 line, and you're going to go up 6. And then 2 and 12. Okay, right. so we got all of our dots, okay? Now, we know what our picture should look like, okay? We don't do this. We're gonna connect our dots, we don't do that, okay? That's not appropriate. That line is not from this chunk to this chunk. It is, the graph goes on forever and ever at infinity. So, uh, so you're gonna go all the way up, and then this, you already know from seeing the pictures, it kinda starts to curve down. Okay, look at number three. We're going to make our XY chart. Okay, now when you type this one in, the very first button you need to do is the fraction button. Here's the fraction button, one third. One over three, and then you need to hit over and then times. Okay, if you don't hit over, it's all going to go with that three, and it needs to just go completely over. Okay, and then times uh, seven, and then we do the same numbers. Negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. Okay, start typing those in, see what you get. Okay, so that's pretty much zero. That's about what it's at, okay? Um, do the next one. Type in, change it to a negative one. What'd you get? 0 0.04. 0 0.04. Okay, what's on the zero? Zero point three. Okay. And then the one. Two point three and the two. Sixteen point three. Okay, now. Although these all seem like it's at zero, this is 0 0.006, okay? This is, if you would add the zeros on there, this is 40, okay, 0 0.40 or 0 040, okay? And this would be like, if you added the zero, so it was equivalent to three decimal places, that would be like 300. So they're getting bigger and bigger, but only by a hair, okay? It's like, if you would get a penny and a penny and a penny, every day you're a closer penny to a millionaire, but you're probably still really far off, okay? Um, so at the negative two, you're going to do it as low as you can. Okay. Negative one is still going to be very low. Zero is going to be very low. And then after that, they start to move up. So one and 2.3 and 
and 2 and 16.3. Okay, so what that does to the graph, that one third, that makes it shoot up really fast. Okay? Um, Okay, and so I don't need a exact, right? Because you can't really tell where exactly this dot is at, okay? But it should be a rough, okay? It should be a rough amount. Like, I should be able to look at yours and be like, oh, they should have three dots way down here and one way up here, okay? So if yours is, like, not anywhere close to that, then I know yours ain't right, okay? But I'm not going to be able to tell, did they put that on 0, 0, 0.4? There's no way for me to tell, okay? So, um, and again, we're going to extend this line, and then curve it all the way up, and I didn't miss my dot, which is fine. Was this growth or decay? Growth. That is growth. Okay. Okay, flip it over. Get on the back. I'm not doing it by myself. Okay, is that growth or decay? It is decay. So make sure in your brain that your picture is going to look like what it needs to look like. Oh, we got to write it too. No, but otherwise your dots aren't going to look right to you. Like, what is going on? Okay, so uh, we're going to make our XY chart. Wait, this is growth, right? No, it's decay. It's decay. Because, see, this is attached to the X and that's less than 1. Okay, so you're going to type in three times, and you're going to do your fraction. You don't have that. Okay, and for that fraction, you're going to say one half, and then hit that over, okay, and then hit that, that power thing. <coughs> you got 12? Negative 2 for 12? Okay, what about for the negative 1? Six, okay. Three. Three? Oh, no, right. Oh, your guess is as good as mine. Is that three? Timmy said he don't know. Huh? Okay. One. Zero. Okay. 1.5 and 7.5 something's not right okay hey I know it's not right because I can't go from 1 to 7 because then my graph would go like this be at one and then we go back up to seven okay because it was going down and then it would come back up and then back down that's not right okay they're going to make that nice shift okay so negative two is going to be at 12 negative one six zero three one and 1.5 and two and 0.75 okay and again this is DK, so it should be going from really high up and then going down. It's kind of like, I don't know, if you kept gambling all your money away, right? So if you win the lottery and you have all this money and you keep going by lottery tickets and lottery tickets and lottery tickets and keep losing, eventually your money's going to run out, okay? Wait, there's any Hold on. Okay, and then we're going to draw our arrow and we're going to connect all our dots and it's going to cave down this way. Okay, your graph should look somewhat like mine. I should have two arrows, one going flat, and then the one way up at the top. Okay, last one. Um, we're gonna draw our XY chart, and we got negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. Okay, what are we gonna get 
take her negative two? 20? Yeah. Somebody agree with 20? Yeah. Okay. Negative one. 10? Okay. Zero. Five. And one? 2.5. That's what I think. 1.25. You got 2.52? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go through there and graph that real quick. So we're gonna have negative two twenty. It's gonna be here. Negative one ten. Zero five. One two point five and two one point two five. Okay, and then last but not least, look at number seven. What is the y-intercept? 